Next, let's take a look at inserting a Camtasia recording into our e-learning course. Now, Camtasia offers quite a few video formats as outputs, but if you are working from within Camtasia, typically you'll want to work with a um, either an MP4 file or an FLV file, especially for any of your recordings or screencasts that are a little bit longer than 30 seconds. It just that compression and the video codecs in those formats actually work a lot better. Now, one other thing I like to do if I am working a lot in Camtasia in uh, Presenter is just create two settings, one for each of the slide settings that I would work with within my e-learning course. So right 720 by 540 is our uh, slide level uh, setting. So if you just want it to appear on the slide and still have the articulate uh, presenter menu visible, that's a good one. And then if you actually want to remove the sidebar in the presenter and you want to go full screen, uh, 980 by 560 is a great size. But of course, you can put it at any size. You can even be smaller if you just want it in a selected area of the screen, and that's totally fine. But um, you know, if you're trying to maximize your screen, those are two good settings to have in your presets. So let's go ahead and insert it into our course. I'm just working with a, uh, a new slide here in uh, PowerPoint, and I want to have a, uh, a video right here for the, the, the Photoshop lesson I created. So first thing you want to do is just make sure you're on the Articulate menu, select Flash Movie, and then navigate to the folder. Now, in most cases, you know, we're working at this viewing from PowerPoint, so I'm not seeing too many files right here. I'm only going to see the skins, the controllers, and the SWF, and the FLV files. But if I take a look at the actual folder right here, you know, obviously Camtasia produces quite a few different types of files. You can't insert the project file. So the source file, the actual uh, source file that you use to produce the, 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 the screencast, you can't insert that into Presenter. That's, a, that's, that's not really a final format. That's just something that Camtasia uses to, uh, to manage the different layers. But when you're from PowerPoint, you do see the controllers, the Swifts. You don't want to work with those. All you really care about is your FLV file or your MP4 file. So once you just click that, click Open, and this is really just like inserting any other Flash movie. So you have your quick preview thumbnail right here. So I could click play. And that's moving really fast. It's just it's a high-speed video of making selections. So that's why it looks like it's going so fast. You can choose to display it in the slide, which is obviously what you want to do for a screencast. You could put it some other places. You could open it in a new window. That actually might work if you have a really large uh, screencast that actually has a lot of detail in it. So you want to check out how you want it to advance the next slide, usually when user clicks next, of course, unless you have it set to automatic. And then right here, this is the one that you really want to synchronize slide to movie. And that'll let you um, use the player controls built into Presenter to scrub back and forth and pause the video. So that's why um, you don't need the controllers from Camtasia, because the actual player and Presenter will take over. Go ahead and just click OK. And there's your video. So let's go ahead and just preview the slide real quick. Okay, so here it is. So this is, again, it's moving really quickly. That's just because I sped up the playback just to do a high, a high speed selection. But check it out right down here in the controls. We can scrub through the video and we can pause the video. So you have all the player controls for the screencast, but um, all you imported, all you inserted into Presenter was the actual FLV file. So a really a great way to uh, bring screencast into your course. And of course, if I had set up the larger setting, right, I could have removed this menu and filled up the entire screen with it. This video was not recorded at that size, which is why it's only taken up a, a selected area of the slide, but another option for um, embedding screencasts in your e-learning courses.